Welcome back. We've just finished reading Anna's diary from back in the 1930s, which mainly filled in some of the background between uh, Hans's original accident, his recovery, and his eventual decision to leave, which caused his father to fake his death. It seems that he wanted to leave to chase after mammoths. It seems that mammoths hold a very large importance to him because of the cave and the toy that led to his accident. And I guess he wanted to find them. I hope somebody told them that they were extinct. In any case, it does kind of make me want to find that uh, mammoth doll in the cave. Might provide us some additional clues to what happened to Hans. Well, if it's still in the cave, did he ever go back for it? I don't know. It seems like Momo might be able to tell us something. But he really wants that drawing of a mammoth. And Kate can't draw. He gave us pen and paper, but we can't do anything with it by itself. See if we can find anything else here. We didn't really get a chance to look around after turning the light on, after all. Um, that's the wrong way. This is where we turned the light on. And there is some stuff here. But nothing we can interact with, except for this. Which is a carving of a mammoth, made by Hans in 1932. Hmm. If that's a carving, then we should be able to just trace it, right? So, that will give us a mammoth for Momo. That worked. You didn't really trace it, you just kind of like went over the whole thing, but it did the trick. It will pass as a drawing. And hopefully will satisfy Momo. Um no, oh, I guess it is in our files now. Mm, thank you. Momo happy. Now follow Momo. Momo show his secret to Kate. All right. Well, that was easier than I was expecting. And he's just running ahead. Don't worry, you can't lose him. That just made it look like she hopped out the window and immediately was there. Like she just jumped all the way down. I wonder where Momo went. There he is. I wonder where Gunter went. Something else entirely. Um, Looks like he's going towards the notary office. Presumably he's not going to the notary office, but same direction. Uh, 
He's not here, and I doubt he went inside. So let's just keep going. There he is. That gate was locked, wasn't it? I guess Momo has a key. Seems to lead behind the main street. There's some kind of park or nature area. It's very pretty. This whole game is very pretty. I do have to say. Looks like some kind of trail up into the woods. Plenty of those in France, especially in the Alps. And it seems to lead us past the stream. Um, this used rowing boat. It's a shame this boat's been left to rot. Now it's full of holes. Yeah, hopefully we don't have to row anywhere. There he is. I guess this is our destination? <sighs> there you are, Momo. This is some walk you've taken me on. I've got to say, though, it sure is mighty pretty. Momo come here often. Momo like make splash in water. Okay, that's nice, but I'm hoping you didn't just take us here to go on a swim. Because of you, Momo, I look more like an explorer than a lawyer now. If Dan could see me, I don't think he'd like what he saw. Momo don't know Dan. Okay. That would be Dan's loss then. Why, why would he have a problem with you going on a hike? Seems kind of weird. Why have you brought me here? Mammoth doll in cave. Very important for Hans, Anna say. Cave? What cave? Where? Momo, not liar. I guess the cave must be around here somewhere. Right. Now we're here. What do we do? Kate and Momo throw stones in water. Momo, we're here because of the cave. Something to do with the cave. Momo and Kate, friends. Okay, doesn't look like he's going to be an awful lot of help actually finding the cave. Or we could just go skip stones with him, I guess. Tell me, Momo. Do you really think that after all these years, Anna's brother is still alive? Anna always say hands go away. But hands come back, maybe. Hmm. Tell me, Momo. I met someone real interesting in the factory. A kind of robot called Oscar. Now, he told me about a train. Anna didn't tell you where it was going, did she? Train! Train! Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Woo! Momo, Momo, it's okay, it's okay. All right, the train just makes him excited. He doesn't really have anything to say about it. You are a strange one, Momo. I'm beginning to see why Anna Varlberg liked you. Momo, he... Mm, Momo look, look like Hans. Momo very proud. Yeah, I can see why Momo would remind Anna of Hans. It must be fascinating to live in a village full of automatons. Automatons made by hands. Difficult work. When Momo big, he do like hands. Momo friend of automatons. Yeah, that's kind of what the diary indicated too. Hans seemed to have become some kind of savant after his accident. And was able to create incredibly intricate um, 
automatons. Up to and including a train and its driver, apparently. <laughs> Although that is, of course, far more recent. That doesn't make it any less unlikely that he could do that, but still. Tell me, Momo. Did you come here a lot with Anna? Mm-hmm. Anna like Momo. Anna like Hans. Anna on journey. What journey? Is he just talking about the fact that she died, or is he referring to something else? Maybe that train journey she was supposed to have gone on? You lived with Anna Varlberg, didn't you? Maybe you can tell me a secret or two about how automatons are made. Anna not want Momo in factory. Nothing new there. So you reckon the cave that Hans and Anna found is round here? You wouldn't know where it is exactly, would you? Cave disappear. Anna say nobody find it. Disappear. Like magic. Caves don't go disappearing like that. It must be hidden by something. That's all. Momo like playing hide and seek. I think that's just as well. Okay. Momo, I've got to go now. But see you later, maybe. All right, let's go cave hunting, I guess. Um. I can't go that way. That looks promising, but Kate is unwilling to get her feet wet. This You could totally just walk across this. It does not look deep. But Kate says no, so... Nor does the water look fast, so there's really no reason why you can't just wade over there. Your shoes will dry. Let's check up here instead. Um, looks like a dam of some kind. Maybe if we open this, um, the water will be redirected so we can walk across there. And hopefully we don't, like, um, flood the village in the process. But we'll worry about that if it happens, okay? Uh, that must be broken. I've got to get a helping hand here. All right, we need someone to help push. And there's only one person around here. Unless the game expects you to go all the way back to the village to ask someone for help. Which, honestly, wouldn't have surprised me. <laughs> but in this case, no, you're just supposed to ask Momo. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Can you help me, please? What do? Help me open the dam. Um, Momo strong. Oh, stronger than the wood. Oops. Okay. I guess Momo is too strong. We can't just replace it. I guess we need something else. Um, what could we use? Hmm. Maybe the ore. Although that is in the water too, so depending on how long this boat has been there, it could be pretty rotten as well. Worth a try though. I could use one of the oars from this boat as a lever, but how am I ever going to get a hold of it? And another thing that this game likes to do 
is, um, you know, having objects that you can't take, and then later when you need them, you can take them. Which is, again, kind of annoying. It sort of makes sense that you couldn't get the ore earlier, but in this particular case, you can't even try to get it, even though you can't get it anyway when you first see it. So there's no real indication that you can... That, there, that that was something you could do something with, you know, when you come back. So you might be inclined to just pass it by. I guess this is where that path across the river leads. I guess the whole... maybe that is the cave. The whole thing would be flooded then, which makes sense that we couldn't just go in there. Still could have walked up to there to find that out, I suppose. Um, we can, however, use the broken lever to reach for the ore. Ugh. That ore is all dirty and wet. What were you expecting? Ugh. That ore is all dirty and wet. Um, okay. Kate does not want to take it. Fine. We'll get somebody who doesn't care that it's dirty and wet. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. I've moved the ore nearer. Be a good boy and carry it for me? Momo say yes. Alright, so he can get the ore. And in this particular case, you know, everything you need to solve the puzzle in this area is right here. All you need is the ore and to talk to Momo. But if you don't realize that, then there are all these screens of the park that all have nothing in them. Which you might be inclined to see if you missed anything there, or if you think you need something from the village that you don't have. Then you have to run all the way back there, and then realize that there's nothing, and run all the way back here. There's just so much empty space you need to cross. Which again, the screens are very pretty, but... It is kind of Momo. annoying when you... I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. When you need to cross them multiple times. And again, here you don't need to, but that requires you to, you know, solve all the puzzles the first time. They're not terribly hard, but... I'm fairly sure I didn't immediately realize how to get the ore the first time around. The fact that you just have to ask Momo for help again is not that obvious. I thought maybe you need to get something you can take it with. Can you help me, please? What do? I need a hand opening the dam. Momo say yes. Momo strong. strong. Thank you, Momo. Yeah. Because that kind of looked like it's on the same size gear, so... It's not like there's any kind of delay there. So, that would take a lot of force. To, to uh, raise that heavy door. But Momo managed it. And now he's gone. Hopefully we won't need his help again. But now this is dry, and we can walk over here. Really nobody found this cave? Nobody thought that, like, you know, maybe it's behind the water? 
It is the cave. Wait, what? I, it's a lot less dark in here than I was expecting. I guess the sun's uh, shining in from somewhere. There's the mammoth paintings. Where's that doll, though? Hopefully not still up on wherever Hans fell. Nope, looks like we're lucky. It fell down! Mammoth toy doll. This is as old as those cave paintings. Museums would probably really like to have that. But we can't do that. We just take it. Nothing else here. Alright, I don't know how this is going to help us find Hans, but it might. Maybe if we show it to someone. It might tell us where Hans has gone to find mammoths. Or something, I don't know. Oh, phone call. Hello? Kate? Is it you? Well, yeah, who did you think it was? Uh, I didn't recognize your voice, that's all. Must be the distance or something. So, spill the beans. What's Europe like? You lucky lady, you. Honestly, I never get that kind of break. Well, so far all I've seen of Europe is this tiny village, and frankly, they're not very hospitable. Uh, the whole case is getting really complicated. There's this surprise air I've got to find. I know. I talked to Lynn, who bumped into Joss, and she had coffee with the head honcho this morning. He didn't sound at all happy. The client's meeting him tomorrow, and when Marston tells him that the sale's not even gone through yet, whoa, you're going to be pleased you're on the other side of the ocean when that bomb goes off. Yeah, I get the picture. But so, how about yourself? What's up at work? We lost the Sarah Lou trial. I worked five months on that dumb case. I remember. So, for a bit of therapy, I went to Boomies. The sale started yesterday. Wow, lucky. It was absolutely crazy, Katie. Absolute mayhem. You know that blue silk top I wanted? Guess how much I got it for. I don't know. 250 200 $140. <laughs> Just get yourself back here and I'll go down with you. <sighs> like it's my choice. Look, I gotta go. Call me soon, huh? I want a blow-by-blow -blow account of every moment of your great adventure. Get out of here. Look after yourself. You too. Yeah, I will. Oh no, she's missing the sale. That's definitely the worst part of all of this. Well, nobody's using this boat now. But then I guess they weren't anyway. Okay, I guess that... It's a lot deeper here, but it was still not deep where we actually crossed it. But I suppose we could not have gotten into the cave without moving the water. Alright. Well, that wasn't as helpful as I would have hoped. I wonder what else um, we can do. It really is beginning to look like that train is our only real solid lead to where Hans went. If it was meant to take Anna to him. At the very least, Anna wrote that he would see the train, so wherever it's going, I guess that's where Hans is. Which means that maybe our best bet is to take that train. And find the mammoths for ourselves, I guess. In order to do that, however, I guess we will need to restore Oscar to his proper functioning. Or finish him, I guess he was never finished. So it's not really restoring, is it? So let's head back to the factory and see if we can figure out how to do that.
We've started power, or at least turned the water wheel on, which seems to have brought power to the production line. We also brought something inside with the loading dock. I'm not entirely sure what that was. And we don't know where it ended up either, but we did saw a strange tunnel with a forklift, and indeed the thing we transported inside is now here. We already saw what happened with the forklift, but I guess we can try and take it. It's really heavy. I've got to get some help. Well, Oscar's no help, because he can't walk. No feet. And Momo's not anywhere close. I actually don't know where he went after uh, he left the woods. But we already saw that this is, I guess, what the forklift is for. Fortunately, it does the whole thing autonomously. I'm guessing that that provides something that the uh, production line needs. Kind of raw material, maybe? It's not really clear, but hopefully it is enough to get this working, at least. I guess we'll see. Um, well, it's still really only number three that seems to light up both on this side and this side, so that hasn't changed. Who knows, though? There's one other aspect, though, before I do this. That is this switch here, which seems to pick between what looks like different types of wood and, um, it matters. If you pick the wrong type of wood, Oscar will complain and he won't let you use, uh, the feet. The hint to what kind of wood you need is actually in the, the brochure for uh, Valor de Len. If we look there, it mentions the uh, ebony imported from Madagascar and it shows you an example. So what we need to do is um, pick the wood that resembles that. Which I, I think it's this one. Let's hope I got that right, and let's hope it works. It made feet. Hopefully they meet Oscar's approval. If they don't, he isn't very helpful, as far as I remember. He just tells you those are the wrong feet and to try again. It's up to you to figure out that it's the wood you need. I 
I guess this is the assembly line that Hans designed way back. Maybe with some changes over the years. Too bad there's no parrots shouting orders. That would have been funny. Alright. Wooden legs. Hopefully made of the correct wood. Alright, let's take them to Oscar. Here are your feet, Oscar. I hope they fit. Kate Walker, I see you managed to produce two XZ2005 underscore B models. Allow me to express a real feeling of joy, Kate Walker. They really suit you. Comfy? Very. You are very kind, Kate Walker. I am sorry to have to leave you. Where are you going? I must find my train. Its departure is imminent. Alright, and off he goes. Um... Off he goes, and the game seems to have glitched itself. Alright. Um, that pauses, apparently. I can't even open the menu. Uh, I guess I'll sort this out, and then we'll continue in the next video.